Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be continuing on with the wee series that I started last week. Yes, it's the first video in a few days. Glad to be back. Um, as we well seen Drake. And uh, aye, so I'm going to continue on with that wee series um, that I started. Where I'm going to talk about potential candidates for the next Celtic match or the open position, which uh, will be coming up at the end of the season. If Neil Lennon obviously isn't given the job on a permanent basis, uh, now the treble treble is looking like it could, you know become a thing um, Neil Lennon could potentially be that next manager but we'll come to that when it comes to the turn to talk about Neil Lennon if or if not he should be given the Celtic job on a permanent basis today as you've seen by the thumbnail we are going to be talking about a manager who I've always adored um, uh, his work as a manager I feel like he is a very underrated manager someone who was great in the Premier League and um, has done well on the international stage as well and that is Roberto Mar. Tinez. once again, we spoke in the last video about Marco Rose and we spoke about the realistic chances of it happening. Um, the way I kind of structured the video was the pros and then realistic chances of it happening. Do I want to see it happen kind of thing. Realistically, we'll start with this. Um, it's like Marco Rose where it's a bit pie in the sky. No matter how much I see on Twitter about, you know, Roberto Martinez odds being slashed and the realistic chances of it happening and him being called to Celtic Park and such... I'll never really start believing these sort of rumours until there's news on something like Sky Sports that the cunt is actually at Celtic Park or has been officially approached. There's only so much you can go off social media and websites online. Um, you can only go off so much of it, the truth behind it and such. You can only take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, and, you know, these rumours that have been creeping up over the last couple of weeks about Roberto Martinez that, you know, have been seen on Twitter... Um, as much as you want to believe some of them, some of them you just know you know you need to take with that pinch of salt, as I said. But if you do go buy all the stuff, uh, the chances are apparently becoming increasingly higher. Um, Celtic do want to get in contact with him about the job at the end of the season, and that would be a remarkable appointment. Um, after Brendan Rodgers leaving the club, you know a lot of people were looking at it as it can only really be a step down. Um, but after Brendan Rodgers, is there anyone who's really a bigger name than that that Celtic can attract? Is there anyone who can take the reins uh, of an equal or better standard? Not really, but when you look at Roberto Martinez, arguably you're bringing in a manager here of an equal standard, of um, you know a great experience. He's done so much um, throughout his, you know, not even long managerial career within you know this sort of country. Obviously, he's not managing this country anymore, but you know he's only managed you know Wigan, Everton. Um, and then he went over to Belgium to do a job there. The guy has had a great career, and one thing is he always played an interesting, you know, sort of brand of football. I thought um, it's not exactly the most thought provoking style of football. It's not exactly you know ticky tack at Barcelona style or anything, but it would be interesting to see at Celtic Park. And he built such a, a strong alliance with players that he managed, especially at Wigan. You've seen that. Um, a manager who I would love to see come to Celtic if given the possibility. You look at him, he managed a Wigan side for years um, that weren't great. They didn't have a, a great team, not not by a, a you know long shot. It was a, a very very bang average side. You know they didn't have players who who stood out and were absolutely amazing. But he always got a solid league position with them until they did get finally relegated. But when you talk about that relegation season, the guy also won the FA Cup with Wigan. Uh, in the height of the times where Man City were at the top of their game, you know, I think Ferguson was still at Manchester United at the time. Uh, Man City, you know, were just at the peak of their spending money and getting in that superpower Chelsea, superb side. Um, you know, they went in the FA Cup final and they beat Manchester City. And... Uh, spectacular fashion with a 90th minute winner if I remember correctly um, you know he's a team who he's, he's, a, he's a man who established a team and he got the team playing together and that's how for so many years with Wigan he had a solid you know a solid team that was able to stay up all those years even though they were like so so far off the other teams in the league they should have been relegated every season then he got that move that big job at Everton they went there had a solid start to his Everton career, obviously kind of tailed off towards the end, then left the Everton post. But once again, solid start. There was never really a point where I thought to myself, Roberto Martinez isn't good enough for Everton. And even the Everton fans, I thought, you know, respected him to a decent extent. Um, and it was time for him to move on eventually. And then they got Coleman in. And, and you know, it's he's had a solid career down England. But the big, the big talk is, this is a man... Who got to the the semi-finals? Was it semis? Was it as far as the semis? 
try to think it was a final again. Fine. Yeah, it was semi-finals. Got to the semi-finals of the World Cup. You're potentially bringing a manager who has managed the semi-finals of the World Cup to Celtic. That's huge. And, uh, you know, you could say, or, you know, you could look turn around and go like that, or anybody could have took that Belgian team and took them in the semi-finals. They're remarkable. They could have easily won the whole tournament. But once again, you saw that partnership and, and that chemistry and that fluidity amongst that team that Roberto Martinez has obviously brought together. You know, you look at Belgium, the World Cup before, and yes, our players were a lot younger. They fought big time. They weren't even great at the Euros. Um, so, I mean... The, the, the development that they made in that space of time under Hamas manager has to be paid attention to he could come to Celtic and build something special I imagine he'd be a fantastic option for the job the odds have been slashed on Roberto Martinez um, to 5-2 to two by the bookies which means there is that possibility that it could actually happen so it just seems pie in the sky to me but just imagine you know that is massive that's a massive appointment a big step from Brendan Rodgers a lot of people thought the only way was down but this this could be huge Um I really like him, I respect him, I feel like he's a humble, nice guy, good attitude towards working, he knows how to get players working, he has faith in players who, you know, might not be the best of quality, I mean, you, you don't look at their names and go, fuck me, that's a good player, uh, but he has the faith in them and he gives them chances and I think if he kept the Celtic, we'd see the continuation of young players getting chances, Um it would need funded. It would need a lot of backing, realistically, to come in. Let's be honest, as much as I'm saying, it will give those guys a chance. It will also need funding, though. I mean, he... We're talking about him leaving Belgium. What are the realistic possibilities of him leaving Belgium after reaching the semi-finals of the World Cup? That is, um, that is a big, big question. Because the guy has... He's, he's got a job there that is just unbelievable. A lot of people would kill for. Working with some of the best players on planet earth uh, it's a remarkable team um, they've got Lukaku they've got the Hazards they've got Courtois they've got Company, they've got Vitzel they've got a team there which is absolutely unbelievable and what are the odds of him leaving that to go to Celtic unless he's dying for a return to club football because we can afford the wage I imagine um, and he gets to work week in week out again which maybe he feels more passionate about than having to wait every two years for a tournament but it would be a remarkable appointment in my opinion uh, and I know I said in the last video I'd love to see Marco Rose, but I'd also love to see Roberto Martinez. I'd also love to see Jose Mourinho. Uh, I'd also love to see Alec Feli. <laughs> I'm joking. But um, it's an appointment that if we made, I'd be very, very happy. And it's one that Celtic should seriously look into and consider maybe investing heavily in not just the manager, but the squad to get something like that over the line. He's a man who'd bring 10 in a row home. He might not stay for 10 in a row, obviously. He's not got any commitment to the club you know he's not been told by Tommy Burns he's a leader of the man and a leader of the people but he's a man who could certainly send us on the way he's got the quality to do that I think he would be a great manager to install some faith in it's just up to the club what do you think as fans would you like to see Roberto Martinez as the next Celtic manager um, slim chance of happening I still think it's probably Robinio Lennon but we'll get on to that I'm not going to give it all away um, aye if you enjoyed like and subscribe you know I, I appreciate that and uh, I see you all next time